Here's a GRE arithmetic question. Let's take a look. A candy company sells 15,000 candy bars for prices between $1 and $2 each and 5,000 candy bars for prices between $4 and $6 each. So we want to know what's greater, the average price of all the candy bars sold or $5. Now this is a case where you might be able to eyeball the numbers and figure it out right away. I'm going to go through the long way, but at the end I'll talk about a way that you might be able to kind of just eyeball this. So there's a range of possibilities for this, right? The average price of all the candy bars sold. I don't know how many bars were sold for $1, you know, $1.50, $1.75, $2, and how many uh, bars were sold for $4, $4.50, $5, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's consider the minimum possible value that we could have sold the bars at and the maximum possible value that we could have sold the bars at. So let's say that all 15,000 of these candy bars were sold for one dollar. We'll call it 1.0001 one dollar, but let's just call it one dollar. So if all of these 15,000 candy bars were sold for one dollar, then that's, let me write it over here, fifteen thousand dollars. And then again, to minimize this, five thousand were sold at four dollars each, so that's going to be twenty thousand dollars. And the number of candy bars sold is twenty thousand. So that's going to be fifteen thousand plus twenty thousand, that's thirty five thousand divided by 20,000. Use your calculator. This comes out to, I don't know, 1.5-ish, right? A little more than that. So in that case, quantity B is greater. Okay, so we have one case where quantity B is greater, and that means, for the record, that we can get rid of A and C. Well, now let's try to maximize all the, the, uh, uh, the uh, price of all the candy bars sold. So we're going to say that all 15,000 of these were sold for $2 each. So that's 15,000 times two, so 30,000. And then uh, all 5,000 of these were sold for $6 each. So that's another 30,000. And that's 60,000 divided by a total of, again, 20,000 candy bars. Once again, we get 60,000 divided by 20,000. That's 60,000 divided by 20,000. And that comes out to three. So. In this case, quantity B is greater again. Can we make this number any bigger? No, we can't. And that means that quantity B is always greater than quantity A because I went to the very maximum possible uh, values that I could test. Now, as I said at the beginning, you may be able to just look at these numbers and, and realize what's going on here, right? One to two dollars is kind of going to pull the average down. So these candy bars are going to pull the average down. And four to six dollars is going to pull the average up. Well, you can see that we have a lot more of the cheaper candy bars than we do of the, a lot more of the cheaper candy bars than we do of the expensive candy bars. And that means that the average overall is going to be pulled down towards one to two and away from four to six. Now, five is right in this range. So you can see this, this pull is like three times as large. There are three times more cheaper candy bars, and that's almost certainly going to pull the average below $5. So whether you do it the, the long uh, calculating way or you just eyeball it, the correct answer here is B. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.